was my four year journey as Stan State comes close to an end. I remember my first day here as if it were yesterday. The excitement, the nerves, and anticipation of what was to come are still vivid in my mind. Over these years, I have met countless people, participated in numerous sports games, and learned many valuable lessons. While my time as Stan State might sound like a seamless adventure, the reality is that it was a challenging journey filled with ups and downs. And let me share some of those experiences with you. As I was preparing for my flight to Stan State in August 2020, the shocking news struck me. Due to COVID restrictions, my study permit couldn't be processed, and I could only go to Canada in December. During this period, I woke up at 8 p.m. every day and attended class online from 10 p.m. until 4 a.m. because of the time difference. I slept at 10 in the morning and repeated this routine for three months. The time difference between Montreal and Japan left me without any sunlight. It was three long months and I couldn't wait to attend school and meet my friends in person. And I still remember the day I was at the airport with my family in December when I could finally travel to Canada. The usually noisy airport was silent with only my family and me occupying the empty airport departure lobby. My flight to Montreal was a peaceful journey since only five passengers were on the plane and Air Canada's usually dry service was at its best. And it's disappointing that I haven't been able to receive the best service since then. My beginning as Stansted was different than planned, but it taught me the value of flexibility and perseverance. I realized that I could handle unexpected obstacles and still achieve my goals by appreciating and believing in what I have. And in December 2020, when I finally arrived at Stansted, the school year didn't go as planned either. Due to COVID, we couldn't have any sports games and had to follow strict COVID rules by wearing daily masks. Our freedom was taken away, and I was mainly going between the dorm and the classroom, feeling stuck, anxious, and stressed. In such a situation, I can't believe how much the conversation and jokes I had with my friends in the dorm saved my heart and gave me a little hope. And I remember the house parents in Buckby making my friends and me run, on, me run around the campus every weekend since we were awake until midnight, wandering from room to room. So when my mom met me at the airport a year later, she was surprised to see how much weight I had lost, and she asked if the food was terrible. And of course I told her, no mom, it was just Bug B's unexpected fitness program. <laughs> the difficulties we faced were just limited to huge events. It also included some minor events such as the sports, academics, and daily school life. However, these experiences taught me that perfection is an illusion and that life's value lies in appreciating what we have despite imperfections. My journey as Sunset has been marked by resilience, adaptability, and growth. I have learned to navigate through unexpected obstacles and in doing so, I have discovered my strength and capabilities. These experiences have shaped me into who I am today and have prepared myself for the future. So let's embrace the perfection in our lives and appreciate the beauty in the journey itself. Perfection is not the goal. Instead, it is appreciation of our experiences, the connections we've made, and the growth we've achieved that genuinely matters. Steve Jobs once said, you can't connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backward. So you must trust that the dots will connect in your future. And this means that you don't know at the time how valuable an experience will be in the future, but believe that it will definitely be helpful to you in the end. And I feel that everything I have experienced and sensed in has become one dot and will definitely help me in my future life. So finally, I want to thank my family, friends, and teachers who helped me connect those dots and supported me for the past four years. Thank you.